I'm Mars. I'm Coop. This is Channel 7, and you are tuned in to Music Exclusives TV. It's just easy. It's cool. See, like, all of that that y'all doing, all that, I just want to get the sage, and I want to like a da-da-da. I want to be cool. Channel 7, how y'all feeling? Pretty good, pretty good. How's the mental health? It's doing pretty good, actually. <laughs> yeah. It's great. It's, it's great right, right now. Yeah. Life's, life's pretty good right now. It's pretty good? Mm -hmm. So, you guys came into the year with this song, and it's... It feels really good. It feels really good. Tell me about this song and the process of it. Um, it started uh, one morning. I woke up and looked on YouTube, and the beat was right there. Mm -hmm. Clicked on it and rolled up, got my coffee. Okay, boom. And right. just <laughs> seeing the steam <laughs> from my coffee and the smoke. And the smoke. I, I instantly went and gotta like come come listen to this. Let me let me play this for you. Okay. Come listen to me sing this, and then we finished it that day. <laughs> Y'all go together. Yeah. Oh. Y'all in relationship? Yes. Real bad. Okay. <laughs> so the song is called Steam, mm -hmm. and it came from coffee, and it came from marijuana. Now, what does coffee and marijuana do for y'all? Uh, the the marijuana just gives you that. No. What does it, it give you? What does it give me? What it it, give it chills me out and. As far as music, it helped me dive deeper into my thoughts, like okay. dive deeper into my past or however I'm feeling that morning, yeah. it'll bring me deeper into those emotions and it'll help me release those emotions through my music. And a coffee, that's just, I've always loved coffee my whole life for some reason. Can you tell us your name? I am Coop. <laughs> and what about for you? Mars. Mars. And did you guys write this song together? He wrote most of it. Okay. Yeah. So let's get into this. Let's get into y'all go together. Wait a minute. Where y'all from? I'm from St. Paul, Minnesota. I'm from Chicago. So how y'all meet? We met at an open mic in Chicago. Oh, my God. Is this a movie? <laughs> Is this a story? A little meet cute. It's like a little, <laughs> you know what I mean? A short film. Let's talk more. Okay, so what happened at the thing? Tell me the story. Um, it was my second time going. I don't one. How many times? First time it was the first time going. It Where was, was a it lot at? of just like chances. Like he, a friend of his is in uh, Logan Square in Chicago. Okay. A friend of his saw him on the highway and was like, "Come to this open mic tonight." He really was like not trying to go, but ended up going. Mm -hmm. And it was my second time going. Like, it, you know, I didn't really need to go at all. And <laughs> I, I remember just like That's seeing him to do. and being like. <laughs> Cause usually, like I don't, I don't know. I don't be like looking at guys and being like, "Oh, he's so hot." But I do remember looking at him and being like, "Oh." Was he performing? No, not yet. I just saw him come in with the girl. Mm, you was and with I somebody was else. Worried. I was you like, was kind of concerned. Damn. How you gonna play it? How you gonna play it? So how Is did you play it? What sister? happened? I hope that's his sister. Um, <laughs> I performed. He performed. Um, towards uh, we both performed towards the, towards the end. So like after okay. our performances, it was kind of over. So everybody starts leaving and like talking and stuff. And. We both were like in the back talking to people, um, and then start talking to each other. Yeah. I, didn't try I to think give we exchanged like Instagrams now. first. Okay. And it's like, I don't know. It, he was almost like refreshing because, uh, you know, you go to open mics and it's just not like if you're gonna be honest, it's not good. Like it's just a lot of like earache, mm. honestly. And so, so like when people go up there and it's like, oh, it's nice. Like it's mm. like, oh, finally. My ear is gonna have a break. I want their Instagram. I want their Spotify. Let's and see. so I was just like going on his Spotify, um, and scrolling through his Instagram, like stalking him a little bit, mm -hmm. and listening to his music. And I was like, oh, like he actually is really good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then, so how did this come about? That Channel Seven. How did Channel Seven come about? Um, well, I definitely messaged him and was like, we need to, we should collab. Mm. Um, and it was just like he was just like, yeah, definitely. Um, but it didn't happen for a long time. It happened like months after that, because we just started being friends. Like we were just hanging out, and then it was like we did write a song before we started dating, and it was like, oh, this is really good. Like mm -hmm. I think we could do something with this. Like I think this has potential. Mm -hmm. We aren't probably not even gonna drop that song ever, but <laughs> but it was good. <laughs> it's really difficult to stand out. How do you guys do that? 
Um, we're, we're not so worried about others. Um, mm-hmm. We kind of, we're kind of lost in our own time. So mm. we, we love the 90s. We love early 2000s, especially from our mother's and grandmother's influence. Yeah. So we're, we're just not connected to the modern world. So they watch TV. <laughs> we have to know that. We listen to vinyls, cassettes. What y'all be listening to? Because you're from Minnesota, so do you listen to Prince, or what does that look like? Of course. Okay, because purple does rain. <laughs> and purple does rain. Purple does rain. You know, it rained at the Super Bowl. But it, this is, it's funny that you guys say the 90s things. because it's mom obsessed with Prince? Like, she's in love with Prince. Yeah, Our house is just like Prince. Like <laughs> <laughs> it's just Prince energy in the house. America loves falling in love with a couple. When we get certain duets, we're like, do they go together? When we got Ariana Grande and Big Sean, we got Beyonce and Jay-Z. Mm-hmm. When we get these certain artists, we want them to be together, especially if the song yeah. is really good, right? Mm-hmm. So you guys have this single out. In your album, what is that going to look like? Is that going to look like, this is me throwing stuff out because mm-hmm. I'm just like, this is creatively like thinking. Is this going to look like you guys telling us your story, Channel 7, like in songs and developing? Because in your, your video, that was really beautiful. Mm-hmm. It was really beautiful. And it was just you guys so raw and so together. And so it looked vulnerable. Mm-hmm. It looked very vulnerable. You guys were just in nature and outside. Mm-hmm. And it was so beautiful. And so I'm interested in knowing what would that album look like creatively? Uh, I, I think unintentionally we do that. Mm-hmm. Like Ping Tom Park is where we shot Steam at. And it was our sanctuary. We just went there to walk around and chill and be away from Chicago and all the noise. Mm-hmm. So yeah, it, it's going to come it's gonna come together and be our lives because that's all we know. We try our best not to make anything feel like a facade. Yeah. Mm. Every, it's, sometimes it take a long time to make music and sometimes it's fast because it's real. It's mm. our emotion, something that we felt at that time. That we need to get off our uh-huh. chest or something. So yeah, like I think it's just inevitable for our like stories and like obviously like our love to be shown in our music and our music videos. But I think it's just like, it, cause it's just gonna be natural. Like it's gonna happen. Like, uh, he, I'm gonna annoy him, and he's gonna write a song, <laughs> and y'all are gonna be like, "Ooh, what's oh that yeah. about?" Mm. You know, I think it's just gonna, it's just gonna happen. So give y'all a dope beat, and y'all get to write, and that's mm-hmm. how it's gonna go. Okay, cool. Well, and this will be my last question, because you guys are sending a message to the why? What, what's wrong? <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah. Okay, well let's keep going. <laughs> but no. What are you guys saying, as you know, we sat here and I listened to it, and I listened to it about two times, and I was able to feel good. You know, Mm -hmm. we're here in New York City, and I'm from the Midwest as well, so I know that you can get away from the noise. You can't, well, Chicago, bro. Mm -hmm. But you all can go visit St. Paul or Minnesota. This very, very cool, very cool place. You're sending a message to the world with your music. Mm -hmm. What is that message going to be overall, collectively? Like, what does your music represent? I really want to bring some like real love back into music. Can you please, especially R and B. I'm tired. Of, uh, I'm really uh, tired uh, of. Can I swear? Can I swear? Oh, can I swear? <laughs> I'm really tired of the fuckboys music. I'm just over it. Even like I am in love with Brent Fias's music, but now I'm just like, oh, we get it. Like we get it. You, you're not gonna settle down. We get it. Like, can you show us that you love people too? Like, can we mm-hmm. get some like? How, what do you look like when you're in love? What do you feel like when you're in love? Like, I just want to bring love back and not like toxic love i want to bring real love back you know real black love back you know i don't know i have nothing to say <laughs> you, did, you really did just break that down that's really the end of the interview yeah. really honestly but i do want to touch on that i do agree with you i feel like right now we're in a time where it is to be is fuck niggas fuck mm-hmm. bitches it's getting money and it's this mindset that if you do get those things, you get the money, you get the success, you'll be lonely mm-hmm. in the end. And who doesn't want somebody to cuddle with or love? You know, music in the 70s always spoke about love, and in the 90s did the same thing, and then we got into this place of independence. Independence doesn't look like doesn't I don't have a partner. I'm somebody. They at home. I'm just outside right now. I'm right. doing my thing. So it's okay to love on each other mm-hmm. and check in and be in love. Yeah. Thank y'all. For real, and be real about it. It's, it's ups and downs. You gotta. Mm. I'm not just gonna be here and be like, it's always rain, rainbows and sunshine. We never mm-hmm. fight. We never argue. You know, we gotta. If if a song is gonna be about our relationship, I'm not gonna just fake happy. If it's like, if I'm feeling away and I want to write about this, I can't be like, but then they're gonna think we're struggling in our relationship. <laughs> and it's like, people struggle in their relationships. Yeah. You know, it's we gotta be real. You do, and that's your art. That's your that's your job. Mm-hmm. 
as artists yeah. first. You guys are in love, and that's th that's an addition, and that's beautiful. Mm -hmm. But it is your job to tell those stories, and I can't wait to see y'all do that. Two really minds can. is better than one. I always say. That's what we say. Mm. Well, this is music exclusive TV. I'm Chaos. We're gonna call y'all back. <laughs>